Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. Quick sound check. Yep, all looks good. Um, all right, sorry, sorry, I was just checking my mic. Um, yeah, because I'm now holding the mic for the Capricorn reading because I really felt to hold the mic. <laughs> I've actually been resting the mic um, on a stand, but for now, um, I kind of really felt to hold it, like almost like I'm on stage, which is very symbolic actually for your reading, um, Capricorn's Sun, okay? And I'll go into that a bit further, so remember that, yeah? It's almost like Capricorns are on stage somewhat at this moment in time. Interesting. All right, so firstly, welcome to Caramel and Coconut Tarot um, channeled messages. This will be a reading for Capricorn Sun Signs, as I've mentioned already, for time period between May 8th through to May 21st, 2023. And yeah, I've already pulled the cards, um, so yeah, but I guarantee you they're shuffled, but um, don't take my word for it. Um, actually, that said, there's, you know, that's all you're going to have to do if you choose to. <laughs> all right, you see, you've got to trust. We start off with some tr testing of trust and faith, you know, because how do you know if a reader's actually shuffled the, shuffled the card, you know, you haven't seen me, but what, what are you here for? Ask yourself that question, Capricorn. Hmm? What are you here for? You're here for a reading, right, from spirit. Now, you haven't seen the reader shuffle the cards. Does that mean it's a nefarious reading? That's a question for you. I'm going somewhere with this, by the way. <laughs> All right, I'm going somewhere with this. Um, basically, trust is a huge issue for many of you Capricorns right now, is what I'm feeling. All right, trust is a huge issue. Sometimes, you know, Capricorns like things in somewhat... This is the prelude, basically, to your reading, by the way. So, yeah, the kind of intro that I, that's just coming through right now as I speak. So, Capricorns... So, just work with me. Um, Capricorns, you know, they're really hands-on. You know, they're earth signs. Yeah. In the tarot, they could be symbolic of the pentacles or reflected by the pentacle cards. However... Um, as much as you are Earth, you're also super intuitive and very watery with your little fish tail. Yeah? Because don't forget, Capricorns don't just have horns, they also have a fish tail. Now I'll let you Capricorns out there research what I just said. <laughs> All right? So with that fish tail, you have that kind of watery, intuitive sense about you. And that's what Spirit are asking you to start trusting more and more and more. Okay? And that's why I kind of use that analogy of how do you trust whether I've shuffled the cards or not? What are you here for? What are you looking at? Do you need to see everything with your eyes or do you trust your heart and your intuition? Because at the end of the day, that trumps everything. Yeah? That trumps everything, because you could actually see things in the physical with your own eyes, but something else could be going on. And at the end of the day, if your intuition isn't in tune, you know, if you're not tuned into the right frequency, you're still going to get it wrong, okay? So you could sit there and say, you know, did you actually give me seven apples, Mr. Apple Seller? Or do I have to count them? And you start counting them, and you count all wrong, because that happens sometimes, right? And you go home, and you realize, damn, I've only got six, excuse my French, I don't know if I'm allowed to say damn on YouTube, oh, just said it again. Anyway, I'll let that go. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a bit of a comedian today. Sorry. It's just where I'm at. Um, but yeah, um, six apples. You went home with six apples, but you thought you counted seven. It happens. I'm sure it's happened to many of you. All right. So, you know, this idea of everything needs to be physically tangible and for me to trust it. No Capricorns. Spirit are really, really encouraging you to start trusting your intuition, okay? So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the reading. That was almost like an intro, all right? An extra, if you like, for your reading. Um, and let's look at the cards. From left to right, we have the Strength card, yeah? In the middle, we have the Three of Pentacles, and on the right-hand side, we have the Knight of Wands. Now, remember, I said at the very beginning, it feels like, you know, 
being on stage, Capricorns are somewhat on stage at the moment because I've, I'm holding the mic and I feel like I'm on stage, yeah? And it's almost like spirit are kind of encouraging me through a um, through embodiment to hold this mic to let you know that during these two weeks, Capricorn, you may feel like you're on somewhat of a stage, okay? But it's, and it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing for you, actually, is what I'm picking up. Because this strength card on the left is something you've been going through for a very long time, is what I'm feeling. You've almost been, you know, because the symbolism of this card is basically, it's like the lion is, let's say, the animalistic nature of self, the, the shadow side, the ego side. And this lovely, beautiful goddess, you know, with the infinity symbol over her head, um, is taming the lion. Yeah, so it's almost like your soul taming your shadow to some degree, if that makes sense. Like the, the dark, you know, like the light conquering the dark. Yeah, if we were to go into some huge, you know, historical narrative or archetypal narrative rather. Um, but that's kind of what you've been going through a lot of. And right now you're, you're, you're kind of coming out of that actually is what I'm seeing. Yeah, it's like this knight of wands, there's an innocence about the being, this little knight, the being that I'm talking about. I mean, this suit, the, this armor looks like it almost doesn't fit him or her, you know, or them. Um, it looks too big, yeah? And it's almost like there's a child in there, an innocent little child with a with a wand, <laughs> okay? With, with one wand trying to ride this horse, you know? But there's a, almost like a disconnect to some degree. The, 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 the facial expression of this knight, you know, I wouldn't really trust them in battle completely, you know, conventionally speaking or traditionally speaking, um, because he just doesn't look very, you know, stereotypically strong, all right? He actually looks a bit worried and doesn't quite look in control of his horse, okay, or her horse or their horse. So that's actually you, Capricorn, and it's a beautiful place to be because it's almost reflective of the page cards, you know, that there's a sense of innocence and new beginnings. And basically, this being on stage is almost like you're embracing that child aspect of yourself, which was, but the unafraid child, yeah, not the fearful child, the unafraid, powerful child that just didn't mind expressing itself in a very open and loving way, or open, loving and honest way. Okay, um, you know, if it had an itchy, an itchy cheek, it would just scratch. You wouldn't like hold back and wait because, you know, wait to scratch because parents have said, you know, don't scratch in front of the public because it's rude or, you know, don't shake your legs at the dinner table. No, you're shaking your legs, you know, at every dinner table possible right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You've got your elbows on the table and you're eating your beans. It's as simple as that, you know, you're like, that elbows on the table rule doesn't make any sense to me or elbows off the table rule doesn't make any sense to me you're just trusting your heart you know because you've you know you've answered all those questions within yourself and made peace over the years you know the fact that having your elbows on the table does not equate to someone being rude yeah these are all conditions programs that people run through your system and get into your psyche so to speak yeah I'm obviously simplifying the process. It's a lot more profound than that. But anyway, um, yeah, so there's a freedom. Almost like the world is your stage, Capricorn. And that's very apt for Capricorn, actually. Um, yeah, they're, you know, Capricorns can, because they're also they're kind of like rulers of the earth, earth realm with Taurus and Virgo to some degree. They're very, you know, they're, they're earth signs, basically, of the zodiac. And, you know, they know how to get things done. So, you know, if you want to, if you need your, you know, your, your house built, call a Capricorn. If you need your, your car fixed, call a Capricorn. If you need a, a feast made, you know, in five minutes because your family's coming over, call a Capricorn or two, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I say or two because, you know, you need a sous chef, of course, you know, to kind of accompany the master chef. But, um, yeah, and if they're both Capricorns, hey, you're going to have a delicious meal, yeah, and, and going to be prepared on time, you know, with all the trimmings, so... Anyway, yeah, there's a bit of humor in this. Um, well, I'm feeling a bit humorous anyway with this because I'm holding the mic and I just feel like I'm on stage and it's it's kind of fun. Yeah, and actually that's what Spirit is saying as well. They want you to have a bit of fun, Capricorn, with this with this new um, um, disposition. Is that is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah, I guess so. You know, the way you're presenting yourself to the world. Okay, this new embodied expression of self yeah this kind of somewhat like i said on the night of wands this 
childlike innocence, but in a sh in a very in the most powerful way possible, um, and with this tamed um, taming of negative expression. You know, the lions being tamed. I'm not saying lions are negative. I'm just saying the symbolism of the lion for me in this card very often is the shadow aspect of self that's been released. So you've been doing a lot of release work, yeah, because your soul has really been encouraging you to do that and taking you through that journey of evolving, yeah, and becoming. And with that, you can then walk this earth, you know, in a much more free, spirited, and loving way. And that's what I see. And that takes me to the three of pentacles. Hey, we have some pentacles, Capricorn. That's your that's your baby right there, you know. That's the kind of the symbolism of you. And that three is very powerful. I'm really looking at the three of pentacles in the top, the actual pentacles, and it's a pyramid or a triangle, you know. And triangles are very strong, you know. And if you notice these three beings, there's a certain, con you know, I guess, stereotype of spirituality. One looks like a monk. And they're looking up to this three of pentacles and almost like, for me, I'm seeing pyramids. I'm seeing like Egyptian pyramids um, that they're looking up and saying, looking at the pyramid, which is the three of pentacles, the triangle shape that it's making and thinking, or not thinking, they're just admiring it, saying, this is how far we've come. This is what we can do. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up from that card. It's, you know, it's a... It's a very abstract interpretation of the card, but that's what I'm getting right now. And if you notice, one of them's even standing on a bench, trying to get closer to, to really, really look at what is going on. How did we do this? How did we get here? You know, how are these pyramids, how did they come into manifestation so beautifully, geometrically speaking, you know, without many tools? Well... Trust, faith, conscious expression, and when I say conscious expression, I mean conscious expression in manifestation, in physical manifestation. Yeah, consciousness created all of this. Yeah, which is tying into trusting your intuition, like I said at the very beginning, more than having to, you know, physically see everything, okay? So I know I've just somewhat bombarded you with a whole mixed message, okay? But you can manage it. You can unpack it. Yeah? Because your soul will interpret this message using intuition, because that's all it has. Letting you know exactly what's going on and how it resonates with your path, okay? But in simple terms, you're being encouraged at this time to really embrace and trust your intuition and enjoy the freedom, the newfound freedom for many of you that you're starting to feel. Because it's going to increase. Over this next few years, it's going to increase, okay? All right, Spirit, what else am I picking up for Capricorn Sun Signs? Ah, they're asking me to tell you, because I didn't tell you this at the beginning. We've chosen, when I say we, myself, Spirit, Angels, yeah, sitting here bringing this message through to you as one, one energy source, to do Sun Signs, because a lot of people get confused with, you know, their Moon Sign, and trying to understand and find their Rising Sign, which is, you know, also called your Ascendant. Um, or their Venus signs. So we've decided just to focus on sun signs and just really ch hone in on the energy of the sun sign Capricorns. So if you're a sun sign Capricorn, then hey, you're in the right place, is what Spirit is saying. All right? Okay, so any other messages? Um, all right, this is going to be quite a specific message. Ooh, it's romantic. It's romantic. They're saying, they're just being really clear, it's romantic. So what I'm seeing right now is that there's a relationship playing out, okay? And it's basically, it looks like a male and a female that I'm seeing. Now, the male has put in a lot of work into this relationship. And the female has been opening up to this male 
in some ways, but not completely. And so this male has somewhat withdrawn a little bit. Now, I feel the male is the Capricorn. And they're saying yes. Spirit is saying yes. Now, past experiences are coming up for this male in regards to this dynamic with the female. The female is wonderful, is what I'm seeing. However, very afraid. And in truth, they're actually afraid of themselves because they have their baggage, their past, their triggers, and what have you. So what Spirit are saying to this Capricorn is just be patient and strong. Because things will reveal themselves at the perfect moment. So trust. That's all Spirit is saying with that little bit of a romantic reading. All right. Wow. Okay. So that was a very specific message. Um, Capricorn Suns. Okay. What else do we have, Spirit, for Capricorns? I'm hearing the end of the year. Um, oh, sorry. No, they're saying July through to the end of the year. Basically although things are changing for the somewhat better now from July to the end of the year it's going to get even better yeah I'll tell you why Pluto is really 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 going to be much closer to moving into Aquarius permanently yes it will spend two months back in Capricorn next year I think it's between September November if I'm right but you can google that but it will be moving into Aquarius permanently. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, because it has been sitting in Capricorn for the last 15 or so years. Yeah, since like 2008. Did a little dance in 2007. In and out of Capricorn into Sagittarius. And then now it's kind of Capricorn to Aquarius. But it's been in Capricorn for a very long time. And you guys have been feeling it. Yeah. You've really been feeling it. Of course, it depends on what on your houses in astrology, you know, your astrological houses and its placements and what have you. But with Pluto in Capricorn over the last 15 or so years, it's been pretty intense for you guys. So hallelujah, well done. It is moving on. It has finally been evicted. No, I'm just kidding, but it's finally moving on. <laughs> All right, I mean, I'm laughing, but it's been intense for many of you Capricorns out there because, yeah, you know, that kind of Plutonic, Scorpionic, energy, that death and rebirth transformation that Pluto brings to the table. Ooh. And yes, I'm using a bit of astrology in my readings. It's just something I like to do. Um, so you can look into stuff, into some astrology if you so choose Capricorn. But many of you listening, you're actually familiar with a lot of stuff that I'm speaking on. Um, so yeah, you know, just, just, um, know that Pluto is moving on, all right? Pluto is moving on. What else, Spirit, do we have? Ah, they're saying it's probably wise to let you know why it's going to be a lot better as well between Ju July toward the end of next year, because it's not just Pluto. It's also that many of you will actually be having finding more stability in your housing situation because I feel a lot of you have been moving around a lot and feel, felt a lot of uncertainty, actually. Some of you slight uncertainty, but some of you more uncertainty in regards to, where to how to settle, where to settle yourself. And I feel that there'll be more of a, a more guidance coming in at that time and more clarity as to how to kind of somewhat, you know, settle yeah in the physical manifest world tangibly because capricorns you know they like to touch they like things they can touch yeah so yes trust your intuition like i said at the beginning but i know you like things that are tangible you know you like to have a home where you can rest in 
but things like that will come in will become much more clearer as to where to kind of um, invest actually I've just suddenly got the word invest you know they're saying some of you are looking to invest in certain areas certain locations around the world and that will become much easier to navigate towards the end of the year um, and that's again tied into the movement of Pluto as well because you know there can be a lot of when Pluto's moving signs changing signs it, it can be very um, turbulent it's a bit like they're they're reminding me of the housing market crash you know back in 2008 that was again when Pluto was transiting yeah, it was transitioning from Sagittarius into Capricorn. It was going back and forth for a moment during 2007, 2008 approximately. And then it settled. It settled at the end of 2008 in Capricorn. All right. And yeah, but that whole year of 2008 was, there was a whole housing crash and crises and what have you. There's similar energies playing out at this moment in time, and you'll notice that. That's what they're saying. Just be a bit patient. Yeah, they're saying pay, be patient, but things will become clearer a bit later. So hold on to your money is what they're saying. I'm not a financial advisor, um, so if you need to seek professional advice, according to, you know, I need to, you know, follow the guidelines of YouTube and disclaim that these readings are for entertainment purposes only. However, okay, um, if it were on my own personal website, which I don't have one at the moment, then I would not put that disclaimer. But because I'm on YouTube, I honor that and respect the rules. So yes, just to disclaim, yeah, full disclosure, I am not a financial advisor. But what Spirit is saying is, yeah, hold on to some of you, maybe just hold on to your finances at this moment in time, because you'll find a better moment later on in the year of where to plant your seeds and where to spend your money. Okay. But now is not necessarily the time because things are all over the place. You know, the stock market is just snaking up and down. It's it's all over the place, basically. Yeah, so just be aware, be alert. You know, exercise some prudence and discernment in your choices is what spirit are relaying to and through me. What else do we have, spirit? All right, I'm being drawn to the three cards as a kind of conglomerate. Okay, and the reason why I would use the word conglomerate is because they're saying many of you will be getting into business, into partnership together. Yeah, you're looking to make new connections. I'm seeing tech companies. I'm seeing tech companies for Capricorn, which is very fitting. Um, but they're saying not right now. Not right now. Plant some seeds. Do some research is what they're saying. But I see like, yeah, like tech entrepreneurs getting together and saying, you know, let's do this and let's do that. And let's build this new, you know, infrastructure for this new app or this you know, and there is a place still for tech. It's funny when I said that I could hear everyone go, what is he talking about? Of course there's a place. Actually, you'll be surprised. Things are changing. Yes, there is a place, but the, the, the flow of how tech is going to come into manifestation is actually going to slow down at some point. And I'll tell you why in a second. Um, bef let me just continue my trail of thought for this this group of people who are looking into, you know, creating new tech. What Spirit are saying is that just be a bit patient, basically, yeah? Put all your ideas down. You've brainstormed a lot. Things will come in in regards and in regards to your ideas, but just be a bit more patient. So I was just saying that tech's going to slow down a little bit. It's a simple rebalancing act, basically, you know? We have a lot of tech here on Earth, okay? And it's moving somewhat too quickly. That's why there's going to be a bit of a pullback in regards to how much tech is being developed so some of you and hence spirit saying be patient some of you will actually feel this yeah there's a lot of tech companies going bust at the moment it's almost like it's the market is somewhat oversaturated okay and spirit are saying the reason being is that we have so many toys here on earth but no one truly knows how to appreciate and love them that is the kind of let's say spiritual message behind what i've just said we have so many toys, but no one knows how to actually love them. So, the production of tech is going through a little bit of a turbulent time, and it will do. So, all these people promoting AI, and it's going to be like this, and the world is going to be taken over by AI, and you better get, you know, buckle your seatbelts. Um, this is very apt for you guys, Capricorns, because, you know, you are super duper, you know, manifestors. But... What I want to what I want to say is that yeah things are going to be pulled back the reins just like on this horse, you know are going to be held back somewhat you know for the greater good, because and almost like the strength card being you know the lion's jaws being closed it's like enough 
We have enough. Let's just sit or stand like in three of pentacles and admire the pyramids we've created and start to appreciate them. Because that's something we haven't done enough of, is what Spirit is saying. Yeah? Wow. So, you, you know, you've, you're getting quite a profound message, Capricorns, out there. Um, and obviously, you know, this may not resonate with everyone, but whoever it does resonate with, then, yeah, hear it. Unpack it. And see what you can do with it. You know, because me sitting here, I think, wow, I'm, I'm kind of rewinding the whole message in my head and thinking, that's pretty profound. <laughs> you know? Um, not to blow, I'm not blowing my own trumpet, it's not about me, it's just, you know, it's a, it's quite a rich reading, I'd say, for you guys, and yeah, I think we've come to the end. Um, anything else, Spirit, that you want to say? Bikes, ah, just came to my, just, just came to my vision. Someone's, a, a very specific message, they're saying, bikes, use a bike, yeah? As your mode of transport, this is a very specific message to a Capricorn out there, use a bike. It's going to be a lot easier for you, okay? And it will save you money. Okay, well that was a, yep, a very specific message for someone out there. And with that said, I'm actually going to come to a close and wish you all the best, all you Capricorn sun signs out there, and and actually quickly finish off with the intro that I've been doing for the other readers, um, other sun signs actually, and which basically lets you know how a general reading works. How is one person able to read for so many people? It's actually very simple. Myself, my guides and angels, we tune into the energy, in this case the general kind of, you know, mass um, compounded energetic expression um, of the Capricorn suns out there right now, we tune into that energy and we deliver an appropriate message for their highest good. And then you listening, you individual Capricorns listening, you interpret that message with your abilities. What I mean by that is that you all are souls, consciousness. You are all made of consciousness, soul energy, yeah? It's the same thing. Loving energy, heart energy, consciousness. I, I mean the God the God self, the Christ did one. For me, that just means the loving aspect of self, that conscious aspect of self. Now, that aspect of you knows exactly what you need at every given moment. So the message that I deliver will be interpreted by you. And you will hear the message how you are supposed to hear it. And it, like, it will be, you know, somewhat customized for you. For example, if I say, Spirit are telling me, you need to go and drink more coffee. You may hear that as, I've had far too much coffee, I need to cut down on my caffeine. Or I may say blue, and you may hear red. How does that work? Energy. Everything is frequency, energy. It's no different to, now hear me out, sometimes you may experience five minutes of time. Now the spirit doesn't live in time, but just to say, you know, we work with clocks, yeah? here on the earth realm. There's a reason behind it, I won't go into that right now. But you're familiar with a clock, right? Now you look at the clock and you say, okay, five minutes have passed. That could feel like hours for some of you. And for others, it, five minutes may feel like a flash, just flash in the pan, you know, split second. Wow, that was a quick five minutes. How did that happen? How did, you know, different people experience time in such a different way? It's no different to a message coming through. We are all interconnected and the same on one level, but we are also unique. A bit like you have the ocean and you have waves, all made up of water, but the waves are the individual aspects of the ocean. We are all individual aspects. We are all on our own individual unique paths, but we're all part of the same ocean. Okay? So that teaching has actually you know, it's been out there for many years. Many people have shared that metaphor that I just used of the ocean. It's not mine to own but it's based in truth, okay? And that's just how things work, all right? So Capricorns, that's how I'm able to do a reading for many and as a general reading, but that said, it won't always resonate with all of you, okay? So if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate, yeah? You have to discern, discern, discern. I trust you to do that. Peace, love, 
and all that goodness. Bye-bye.